Okay. <clears throat> this point is a Zoom X microphone at the bottom of your screen. You can mute and unmute yourself if you when you're ready to speak and introduce yourself. There's also a video button at the bottom of your screen that you can also turn off and on. Um, and then at the at the top of your screen, um, there's a view button on the top right. And when Melissa Allen speaks to do our art lesson, I you'll know, want to know. select speaker view so that you can see her um, while she's uh, walking us through this great art lesson. So before we get started, um, we're going to do a little bit of a speed round of introductions. We'd love to hear from all the grandparents who are joining us tonight. Tell us um, where you are from and um, who your grandchildren are. We would love to meet you. And it's kind of an awkward, but you just can unmute and say hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hey, Pax. Hey, Pax and Ben. Pax and ben. Hello. Oh, hello, guys. Hi. Oh, I'm glad you're here. here. All right. What? Hi, it's Val and Steve Chin, and we're here with our grandsons, uh, Maddox and Keenan Chin, who go to McClellan Elementary. We're happy to be here. Hi, I'm Katie Williams, and Andy Updike's grandma from Colorado Springs. <laughs> we are Ken and Marilee Kohler, and we're Pax and Vans, grandparents Hi. from Salt Lake City, Utah. Uh, I'm Alan, and I'm here in Washington, uh, Cal and Scarlett's grandpa, and I wish we were in Utah with all of you. <laughs> and I'm Colette Goodman, uh, Helen Scarlett's grandmother. I happen to be up in Boston for work today um, and um, spending a little time on Cape Cod where we love to have Helen Scarlett join us in the summer. And hello to everyone. I'm Annette uh, Barfield. Go ahead. I'm Annette Barfield. I'm in Wichita Falls, Texas, and my grandchildren are Eleanor, Holland, and Margot. Uh, Rusty and Carol Miller here. We are uh, Tavi Miller's grandparents, um, <laughs> and uh, we're uh, sitting here in uh, Chevy Chase, Maryland. Hi, I'm Colsum Guinea, and this is my grandson, Brighton. And my granddaughter, can you say your name? Bella. Bella. And uh, they both, and Bella goes to Parley's Park. And we're in Park City, Utah. <laughs> Happy to be here. This is Therese Heinzelman. I'm in Park City. I don't know if you guys can see me. I don't know how to put my on the camera. You can see you. You can see me. Okay, I'm in Park City. And my grandchildren are in Boston, George and Henry Heinzelman. Uh Hi, Abby. We're um, nice George see you. and we are their grandchildren. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> now we're in Boston. Um, yeah. I'm Jessica Wilson, and I'm Tavi Miller's aunt, and I'm from Michigan. Hi, Tavi. I miss you. Do we have any other grandparents who'd love to say hello? Hi, Nancy, you want to introduce yourself? Wait a minute. Hi, Hi. I'm Nancy Ladd in Rye, New York, and I'm Quinn and Jack Ladd's grandmother. Welcome. Great. Well, we're so happy to have all of you here um, with us tonight, and I'm going to turn it over to Melissa Allen, 
our Eva art instructor and uh, teacher at Parley's Park. You go big and everybody sees it. Okay, do you all hear and see me okay? Hmm? Yes? Yes. Okay, well, thank you for, so much for joining us tonight. We've got a great lesson on, I can't not laugh when I say that because I put this Austrian accent behind it. Um, Frieden's Reach, Hunter Twasser. He's an Austrian artist. Um, he is not living any longer. He died in two, year 2000. Um, but here's a picture of our friend right here. Um, he was really um, an interesting guy, kind of quirky. Um, some of the kids that I've taught over the last um, couple of days have heard my spiel about him. He was really big on organic lines. So when thinking about that, um, the ruler, not a fan of the ruler. So if you brought a ruler with you to art lesson tonight, why don't you stuff that into your drawer, um, put that away for now, because he really liked more of a, a freehand line. Um, he was a big environmentalist kind of before environmental issues were, you know, at the forefront. Um, a lot of his artwork has or uh, they have trees and fields and sky. And that was really important to him. He liked to look at humans and nature in harmony. So um, again, with his quirkiness, he was kind of um, autonomous in the way that nobody really labeled him as a ism. He wasn't a real, he didn't study realism. He didn't study fauvism. He was very much his own artist um, he never even came up for a name for how he did his art. He just kind of did it very organically. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about his paintings and his architecture. And I think right in front of you, you see um, one of his paintings with this woman's face, um, Irina Land, and he kind of loved her a whole lot. Um, he has her kind of the... Uh, in the forefront. And then you can see some of the, the, um, the landscape behind him, the, the houses, the green grass, the sky with the clouds. Those were um, ways that he would incorporate the humans and, and nature in harmony. That's probably his most famous piece. Um, some of my kids who are on the call from Parley's Park um, and who, who kind of heard me talk about this over the last couple of days, what do you see in this picture of this woman and her face? What stands out to you? I know Pax was on there. Um, what stands out to you? Brighton and Bella, you you were in class for that. Or What's anyone, you? anyone who'd like to speak colors? up. Uh, colors, know. yeah. He was a big fan of colors. Did you did you all bring your uh, primaries, your red, yellow, and blues? Yes. Yeah. Is, is your secondary? Oh, good. I like that enthusiasm. Um, your orange and your purples and your greens too. Yes. Okay. Good. Um, yeah. He was. He's a big fan of filling in the whole picture. So when we're doing our our artwork today, I'm going to ask that. <laughs> Um, if you find that you've got some white space bigger than your hand, I want you to fill in with some of the um, some of the details that I'm going to give you in a little bit. All right, I think we're ready for our next slide, Miss Cody. There's another example of his art. You can see lots of geometric shapes, lots of grids, lots of lines. Again, the organic line, um, nothing ruler, nothing straight. We're going to put those rulers away. All right, next slide. Um. Miss Melissa? Yes. Uh, what, like, what happens if the blank space is like a big cloud that you put in the picture or something like that? That's, that's a really good question. Maybe you can put in some lines inside your cloud. We'll show you that in just a oh, moment. Sound okay. good? Yeah. That's a great question. Okay, so I'm really fascinated by his architecture. This is um, in Austria, in Vienna, Austria. As we speak, it's called the Hunterwasser House. And this is probably his most famous work of architecture. When he built this, he collaborated with a, a, another uh, architect. And um, there were a couple of things that he was very adamant about. He believes that every person who lives in a space has the right to have a window. 
And so with that window, you should be able to open up your window and reach your hand outside and color around your window, which I think is kind of cool. It reminds me of, if you're familiar with Antoni Gaudi, he uses a lot of decoration around windows, mosaics and paint and, and little details. Um, also, you will notice that there are trees that are growing out of windows and there are even trees on top of the building. He was very much um, a proponent of bringing the outside in. And he felt strongly that plants and trees and bushes belonged inside the house. So a lot of these, these trees are actually growing outside of people's windows, vines, all the way up to the roof. Um, and I sometimes question that. I think oh, maybe I bugs. I don't know, but that's just kind of his thing. Again, it's incorporating that environmental uh, right. aspect. Also, um, the 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 floors and the ceilings they were wobbly. He didn't like straight floors. He said it was harmony to your feet to be able to walk across a floor that's uneven. And I think that a lot of us could probably weigh in on that. I'm not sure. Um, and you'll see in some of his, uh, I've got another example up on the board. He has a lot of, oh, there's the vines. You can see those on the balcony going up to the top floor. He, um, he puts plants and stuff on the roof of his, of his architecture. I've got this one right here that I want to show you because I think this is super, super cool. Is it a, can you guys see this um, of this hotel? Thumbs up if you can see it. Okay, I can see it. Yes. Yes, yay. Look at this hotel. It's actually a spa and he's got it kind of built into the side of a hill and there's grass growing on the top, on the roof. And so many of my kids in class just thought that was so fantastic that they could go outside their house before dinner and maybe ride their bike up to the top of their roof and then ride down. So super, super interesting, quirky, quirky uh, artist and architect. All right, let's see. Next slide, Miss Cody. All right, and um, the, the slide that you see of the woman sitting by the fountain, that's at the base of the Hunter Twasser House in Austria. And then to the, the picture to the right is a museum dedicated to Hunter Twasser. Um, again, this Hunter Twasser House is kind of set in the middle of Vienna. And it's really interesting because it's flanked on both sides. Very, um, you know, typical apartments and office buildings. And then you've got this colorful, it almost looks like a Dr. Seuss house right in the center with all these windows and things. Um, so super, super, super dynamic. All right, next slide. All right, it looks like some friends from uh, McPoland. Are we good? Are we good to start? Do we have anything else, ladies, colleagues from the Eva or from the Education Foundation? We're going to no. give it a go. I think we're ready to give it a go. Okay. okay. All right. well, see what let's I'm get doing. Hard on. All right. Let's do it. Okay. So uh, when you get, you've got your paper. You can you can orient your paper, landscape, which is like this or portrait, you decide. I kind of like the landscape since he is a landscape artist. And we didn't talk too much about what a landscape is, but essentially it's like, if I were driving through your neighborhood and I took a snapshot of your house and the trees and the mountains and the sky, that whole entire scene would be the landscape. So I offer you to orient your paper the way that's most comfortable for you. And you've got a couple options as we start. Um, if you are comfortable going right into Sharpie marker, you're welcome to do that. It does take a little extra time if you draw it first in pencil, but some kids and some grandparents might want to sketch it out a little bit first. Oh, I see it, Pax. Good. Or is that Van? I see it. Okay, you got it. So um, to start off our project, you choose pencil or Sharpie, and I want you to choose three different ways to start. I'm gonna show you up on the board. The first way, step one, is to draw a low-lying horizon line, and of course curved, because 
Our friend Hunter Twasser, he likes your freehand line more so than any ruler. And then on that low lying horizon line, some little houses stacked close. And you can do whatever you want with the roof if you want to put curves. I just kind of quickly sketched it out. So that's choice one. If you don't prefer choice one, choice two, the horizon line is in the middle of the page. And we've got medium houses, a little bigger, stacked side by side. Choice three is to start off with three towers. He really loved the towers and he was pretty ornate with the tops. He often uh, drew like, it almost looks like an onion with a, a polka dot on the top. He liked pretty fancy ornate kind of stuff. Uh, so again, those curved lines. So I'm gonna give you a moment to think about it. Pick one of those three to start. And if you have any questions, feel free to go ahead and turn on your mic and uh, possibly somebody else will have the same question. Um, can we do multiple of those? Sure, and we will get to that, Pax. We'll get to it in step two. Good question. Okay, go. Do we have to like draw big houses? Well, it depends on what you do. If you do a low, horizon line brighten you might want to do little houses if you do something in the middle maybe it's medium we're going to add another layer to it or if you want to do three big towers kind of like i did right here can you see that brighton um you can do that too so you choose what what resonates with you the most right now what are you what is your eye drawn to or toward he's probably in the middle from what I can see. <laughs> okay. Yeah, eventually, just so you know, you realize we're gonna, we want this to look layered. We want something in the foreground. We want something in the background. We're gonna have lots going on because remember he likes to fill up the whole page. All right, how are we doing friends? Do we have everybody kind of chosen and and they've written or they've drawn out, they've illustrated their, their top choice for this first step? Uh, we're not done yet. Okay. Taking a little bit of time. I'm not done yet. Okay. Keep it going. Keep it going. Is it okay to say that I wish I had an art teacher like you when I went to school? <laughs> I'd like to say that too. Thank you. Absolutely. I think your approach uh, Abby and I have talked about it. It's just fabulous. And, oh, uh, thank you. Thank you so much. So does Colette Goodman, who, who does thank the drawing. You. Thank you. When she paints when you teach. Thank you. So. Thank you. You can, you can show her the drawing from the last time that's still hanging in our kitchen. <laughs> I'll show you what I, I did for my first step. I did, I chose the medium. What I have on the board is the lower, but I chose the medium just because I wanted to do something a little different. Yeah. Oh, look at, there's my friends, the Mullins. Yeah. <laughs> Relax, Faye. <laughs> How's it Oh. Wait. Sorry. You're good. All right, so I'll just start framing along the second step. Keep working, just keep your ears open and, okay. and you'll hear it and you'll see it um, as we good. go along. The next step, step number two is the and or step. So you can add any of these three or maybe just do one or two but we're gonna add another layer to it. So um, step one, or the first option I should say, for, for this uh, next layer, lollipop tree. Simple circles, even like a donut with a little stick. He liked putting lollipop trees all over the place. You can see it in this big picture right here. He's got Ooh. these big lollipops and swirls. So that's an option. And or, 
another row of buildings. So you can see in this example here, I drew the low and then I drew a medium and or some towers. So you just kind of keep filling things in, filling up the space, making it look like this somewhat city landscape, but of course we've got the natural elements, the lollipop trees. And are we still just doing outlines? Can we do windows? Yes, we are still, well, you can either be right in it with Sharpie or you can be drawing it in pencil and then tracing it in Sharpie. Excuse so me? It's either. I know that some kids, um, they aren't comfortable quite yet drawing it all in Sharpie just because we talk about Sharpie. Once it's there, it's there. But the great thing is happy mistakes, right? Sometimes if you feel like, oh, I made a mistake, you just kind of change it and you turn it into something else. Excuse me? Yes. Can you do windows? That's coming up. We're getting them. Oh, yeah, because you, you know, me? right, Van? You know that he loves windows. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Uh, yes. Can we um? Can we um? Shoot, can we do more than one of those? Yes. Okay. You could do one. You could do two. You could do three. Okay. You could do as much as you want or as little as you want, but you're going to fill up the space. <laughs> could you tell us what a hunter vosser is? A hunter vosser. Hmm. Well, he's got the he's got the two. Um, he's a painter and he's also an architect. I would say that he's probably just known for his organic lines that connect mm -hmm. humanity and nature. So he'll draw a picture, but then all the blank space around it, it kind of traces the line of the tree or the face or the building. He fills up, it's almost like a doodle artist to me. Does it have anything to do with his name? Huh? Oh, the hunter twasser means hundred waters right. he he changed his name um i don't know what what time of his life he did but he was born frederick stowasser in vienna austria uh -huh. and he changed it to friedenrich hundertwasser later on in life mm -hmm. very interesting dynamic uh, upbringing he was born during world war ii and he, right. he changed uh, he changed a little bit to keep himself safe. Interesting. Thank you. Do we have to color? We're going to get to that. No, 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 no. No, we need to mute us. Hi. Hi. What's that, Faith? They just wanted to say hi to their grandma. <laughs> Okay, how are we doing, friends? Check in with good, you. Good, good. We're good? Okay. Are you uh, doing facts and down? The next, and if you're ready to start step three, it's all the details. Great. Uh, I'll put this up close to Brighton has a question here, if you could. Okay, Brighton, yes. Are we going to color? Yes, we're going to get there. Lots of colors. So once you have this, then we're going to jump to the details. Um, he likes, let's see if you can see all this. He loves eyes. He loves grids. He loves rain. He loves faces. Blobs make really good suns in the sky. And of course, the windows, because he feels that every human living in a building deserves to have their own window. So lots and lots of windows, and they don't have to look perfect. When you're working on the windows, you might decide to have curved windows. Maybe you've got one window up top, one big one on the bottom. It can be anything that you choose. So let me show you my step two. A little bit behind, but this is the step two that I did for my picture that I showed you earlier. And then step three 
is where we get to start adding all the crazy lines and windows and trees and just kind of go with it. And if you think, ooh, this is a big space right here, white space, lines work really well, lines that are curved. I wouldn't say too, too ornate. Um, he's pretty simple, curved lines, um, but you decide, you look at your picture and decide, what are you gonna do? Maybe add a face in there. And we're still all in black, right? No color yet? Yes. You okay. could start to color if you want to. If I mean, if you're if you're ready at that space, because really this project could go on and on and on and on and on forever. <laughs> and um, with my kids at school, I had them color in with crayon just because um, the last step that we did together in the classroom was using a watercolor wash. And um, that was really nice because the watercolor fills in a lot of the white space as well. So my Parley's kids, um, tell me this, what happens when you watercolor on top of crayon? What happens when you watercolor on top of crayon? Oh, go ahead, Quinn. It was, it was show blank, it was show blank space. Well, remember the crayon has what in it? Zeros. Wax. Wax. So if you put watercolor on top of it, the crayon beads away the watercolor. It looks really cool. It's called uh, watercolor resist. Uh. You were mentioning earlier about the derivation <laughs> in the name Hundertwasser. Yes. Hundred um, water. Yes, um, his first name is Friedenreich. The name yes. that he chose, Peaceful Kingdom, is what that means. Wow. Oh, really? So for a guy torn by war, it makes yeah. a lot of sense. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and you know, like I, I was reading about when he died, um, he wasn't, of course, big on money. He did make some money off of his artwork, but he, very, he led a pretty austere life. However, with that being said, he died on board the Queen Elizabeth II, sailing the <laughs> Pacific Ocean. <laughs> And Sounds like it, a good way to go. <laughs> this was in the year 2000. And in his will, he wanted to be buried in New Zealand. He had donated 150,000 trees to the country of New Zealand. Um, and he called it the Garden of the Happy Dead. So he is buried there under a tulip tree. I had to look that one up too. Like, what is a tulip tree? I know what a tulip is, but I have never seen a tulip tree. I uh, neither. That's cool. Yeah. We have them up here in the Pacific Northwest. Oh, do you? Tulip trees. Yeah, oh, lots of them. Excuse me. Yes. Um. So, can you show the picture of the step three? Step three. Step three. You want to look at the examples? Yeah. Okay. So eyes. Let me see here if I can get that good for you. He likes eyes, and he likes the grid, and he likes the raindrops. Thank you. You're welcome. Windows, when you can't go wrong with windows. And so on my step three, I decided to add, think of that slide. I decided to go for the face. The face is definitely a little tricky, um, but really when you just break it down into lines, it can look interesting. And when you get to start thinking about color, um, I don't know, some of the other kids can echo too from the other schools. When you look at his work, there a green stands out a lot to me, especially with his lollipop trees here. But I often see green and I see red. And green and red are complementary colors, meaning that when they're I mean, side I mean, side I mean, she can draw whatever she wants to. They look awesome. So the complementary colors, um, you can kind of see it probably, oh, I don't know if you can or not, on the camera. Colors that are across from each other on the color wheel are called complementary. So green and red is a good color combo to put next to each other. Uh, blue and orange 
really good too. And then uh, the purple and the yellow. So just something to think about when you start coloring. He seemed to like a lot of green for the environment. And he also um, used like reds and kind of hot oranges a lot also. And I would probably save the metallics for the very end, little touches here and there. Okay. Um, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm just, can I say hello to my grandson? Of course. <laughs> Oliver? Hi. Here. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Yes, please. And talk to your grandchildren. Say hello. <laughs> I just didn't know if he knew what to do. And I need to ask. Hey, guys. Nina. Hey, it's me. <laughs> hey, Grandpa. Hey, Gussie. Hey, Jack. I need a little more. Hi, Jack. <laughs> hey, Gussie. Hey, Grammy. Hi, Grammy. Hi, Tavi. Hi, Gussie. Hi, Oliver. Grandma? Hi, honey. How's your, how's your painting coming? Can you see mine? Say, can I say hi to, can I say hi to Raven? She is not even in here. I don't know where she's at. Sorry. Raven, come here. Hey, Abby. Come here. See you tomorrow. <laughs> I, I want to say hi to Otto, Ren, and Fern. I'm my crazy monkeys. Mm -hmm. Hey, Grandma. Hey, Grandma. <laughs> Quick question. The, um, can you hear me? Yes, Nancy, go okay. ahead. Uh, crayons versus markers. What are you recommending here? I've got both. Um, the markers will give you more of a flat look. If you use crayons, it'll look a little more textured, um, or you could use both. Okay. Do you use pencils? Oh, yeah, of course. Well, it has a little different look to it. Are doing it that Those way? are very good questions. Can you do that? That's like... Hey, George and Henry, how's your project going? <sighs> hey, Grandma. What are you doing? Silly. See you tomorrow, Eleanor. Okay, see you tomorrow. These are the best smiles I've ever seen. <laughs> and the <laughs> it's the most joyful night of the year for us. That's why we have so many staff that come and join so we can see all these great smiles and hellos. Van, can I see yours so far? Can Van, are you there? Yes. So I show you let, me see you let me see you guys. I show you mine. Oh. That's oh, really God. good, Pax. Let me wow. see this one. Let's see yours, Dan. <laughs> wow, that's excellent. Pax, that's so good. Hey, I like that. Whoa, so good. That's so really good. good. So can we hold up ours? Would you be able to see it? Can you see what? it? Can you what? see ours or not? Uh, let's let see. me see. Let's, let's see. Hi, Brenda. Um, <laughs> okay. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Did you see it? Yes, yeah, it's good. Okay. Oh my gosh. Relax, <laughs> <laughs> Faye. So Jack's, uh, Quinn's working on it. Yeah. Let's calm down. Faye, we're unmuted and it's annoying. Yeah. Oh. Yep. You need to include Pax. I knew. Sit down. <laughs> So I'll just give you a little sneak peek at some of the pictures that um, kids worked on. I had a first grade group come through Monday, Tuesday, 
and um you can see oh wow that's so oh, cool, wow. cool. Whoa. Whoa. they're super colorful and i think also like when i think of hunter twasters he loved the work of children as well just because it was so um joyful and kind of like his work kind of like his work right so um a lot of the the kids i mean these are six-year-olds that put together these really fabulous really yeah bright. they're fabulous they're so good oh, they're great. like wall worthy yeah right it's they're 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 beautiful um we didn't put this on the uh list for items to bring in tonight but if you have any liquid water watercolor at home or watercolor pans if you're using crayon that's a really nice way to finish up different sections quickly um you can get a lot of coverage with a liquid watercolor watercolor pan pen what pan to know oh look at that one that's beautiful Merit. um that's Faye, right i can't see a little there's yes yeah, super cute oh very nice jane very very nice beautiful So as you're putting all of your finishing details, just take a look and make sure if you've got anything that's about bigger than the size of your hand, white space, what could you hey, show in? What kind of lines or grids or eyes hey, or faces? Hi, or <laughs> Hey, Keenan. Hey, Maddox. Mm. It's so fun to do this with you. I think you should do a class for old people. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. I'd sign up. Does anyone have any questions or want to show their work? Yeah. Good. Are you That's really good? Are you sure? What? Are you sure? <laughs> Here's mine so far. Whoa, take a look at that. Oh, that's so good. Ooh, look at the two rows of houses. Excellent. I love your spirals. You've got a face in there. Out nice. 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 This is mine. You can't see the face very well, though. Ooh, wow. Nice. Nice. The face. How's nice. Faye doing? What? How's Faye doing? Good. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, wow. I just finished. This is mine before I um, am going to call this Oh, so good, Pax. That Super is excellent. Good. This Girl, is my wow. You can't really see the faces, but they're in there. Ooh, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Grandma. Yeah. Uh, look <laughs> at my picture now. Hello. Oh, man, that's excellent. I love those eyes. How do I make it show? 
I held it up with my picture. Do I just talk and hold? Now you can color it, but Molly. This is mine before I color that. Oh, very nice. So this is mine. It's fabulous. Oh wow! Look at that. Wow. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Scarlet, I can't see yours. You're trying to show it. Uh, ah, there it is. Very nice. Can you do another one? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to grab it. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. And talk. Hey, Tabby. <laughs> wow, look at him using Grandpa. Uh -huh. This is, this is so my picture. Wow. Uh, there we go. Anyway, work in progress. <laughs> Did you guys see yet? No. Hey, Gussie, can I see yours? Oh, wow. That's good, Nana. That's Thank you. really good. I don't yes, have any is. colors though. I'll have to find some. That's also yeah. really good. I've got mine so far, but I don't have enough uh, colors here at my office. So I'm going to have to finish it later. <laughs> nice. Wonderful. Very nice. George and Henry, let me see yours so far. You guys are quiet in Boston. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Oh, wow. Nice. Wow. Yeah. What do you guys think? Grandma, can we see yours? Oh, hold on. Uh, oh, nice. Really good. Very nice. Thanks, guys. So nice. No, I'm going to make this. Really cool. Oh, look at Jessica Wilson. Show that. Show that again. All right, I'm trying to get Tabby's attention because I don't think she's that. Do you see it, Tabs? It's really wow. beautiful, Tabby. Tabby. I like yours so much wow. better, Tabby. Wow, I like yours, Jessica. Your complimentary colors, A plus Tabby. Plus. Tavi, you're going to have to send me yours so I can put it on the refrigerator next to um, the other stuff you've drawn. Okay. Okay, thank you. I have one of Tavi's pieces of art actually framed in my house on one of my walls. It was so cute. Cool. That sounds familiar. I have a lot of my grandsons <laughs> framed in my house, too. They're my favorite ones. Max, why is it? Wait, why is that? Because I'm not too much a face. So for those of you who have the metallic uh, markers or pencils or crayons, you might start choosing little places where you could add a gold or a silver. Um, he doesn't usually put a lot of gold and silver into his paintings, just more like um, little blips. The here and there. Uh, we do, we only had metallic Sharpie, so... Ours are kind of messed up. Nice. <clears throat> I was thinking of doing something like a hill, but I'm going to do a guy climbing the mountain. Mm -hmm. Another one. <laughs> okay, so much that I'm doing another one. <laughs> <laughs> Obi, I want to see yours. What? Eleanor, I want to see yours. Rusty and Carol Miller, that is nice. There, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice, nice. That's Grammys. Thank you. Awesome. Can I color yours? 
I'm going to try. I've got the red pen. That's all. <laughs> Yeah, that is embarrassing. Look at mine. Oh, I love it. I like, but okay. the crazy monkeys are showing. Beautiful. Something happened. Um. Okay. So I said that's really a small cube. Like I'm gonna take a tiny mountain. Well. She found it first. Melissa, I'm yeah. I'm just gonna do a little a little time check. Why is it so we have ten minutes? Maybe in five minutes we can all hold up our art so we can all look at it I'm pretty sure and of course if you're not done you can keep working on it after after six o'clock right I'm working. I'm sure. <laughs> working Keenan, Keenan I want to see your picture yeah. Keenan show us yours how they doing oh, there's another Keenan of the grape lady wait how do I Hi. Hi, Hi. lady. Hi, Hi, lady. Do you guys see mine? Hi, no. lady. Where'd the eye come from? It's it's what this artist does. Oh. <laughs> lady, can I see your picture? It's Nana. Oh, wow. Isn't that nice? Wow. Nice. Wow. Thank you. Quinn and Jack. What do you, you got, guys? Got anything? Can you show? Oh, yeah. Wow. It looks amazing. Wow. Wow. Hi, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm done, too. Nice. Right. Henry, I love it. I need a lot more color. Oh, nice. Wow. Look at those. I need to fill yeah. up my paper, Mom. I have to finish the coloring. Oh. Hi. All right. Why do you always have to be on the screen? Did every grandparent get to say hello to their grandchild? We did. I did. Yes, <laughs> indeed. Good. I don't know if you guys can see mine or not. Ooh, beautiful. Oh, wow. Yeah. Your eyes. Yes. You see That's that really big, Grandma. Yeah. Looks Thanks. great. Here's mine. Oh, That's Grandpa's. Oh, wow. nice. It's so cute. Yeah. Yes. Are you guys Pats and Van? You guys got yours almost ready? Or, <laughs> or can you just see, see it and then. I mean, I'll show you mine after I finish this one thing real fast. Do you need it? Okay. You need it? Oh, great. I love that. This is mine. That is so good. Thanks. Wow. Oh, man. Look at that. I love it. That's amazing. Yeah. There is. Wow. This is mine. Oh, Tabby, nice. Don't you have a picture? Like mine? You should put it on low power. I need a bright orange. Good yeah. job, kiddos. So nice. And the grandparents. Nice, Deb. And Good job, Deb. And Cal and Scarlett, can we see yours? Oh, wow. That's oh, great. nice. Oh. Well, we made it so we can frame it. Oh, that's beautiful, Scarlett. Thank you. Thank you. Col Colette and Alan, did you do some too? You can show Cal and Scarlett and all of us. Um, well, I, as I said, I can't finish mine because I don't have many colors here at the office, but I've, this is how far I got. <laughs> nice. Love it. When I was visiting an elementary school a few years ago, a, 
young boy had just started his very first day of school and it was well into the year. And it was uh, first, first, first thing in the morning and the little boy was in tears and it broke my heart. And I came back to the school later that day and I happened to be visiting an Eva art class and the little boy had this giant smile on his face and he was just so happy to be in school and he had completely turned around the day and it just reminds me how art connects us and makes us feel part of one community like tonight Um, and the power of art and how important it is to have it in our elementary schools. I love the paintings behind you. You've got some really <laughs> well, yeah. stuff. Yeah, but some of those are by my children. <laughs> They're wonderful. Thank you. And I didn't realize that it's this art program in the schools. Is, it wouldn't be there if it weren't for the foundation. So really kudos to you and Jen. Yes. Thank you. We love We love art and we love what it does for kids. <laughs> And we're very lucky to have um, a teacher like Melissa Allen, who just has inspired so many children. Um, You know, so many of your students, we see them working in the junior high and the high school on different art or film and just, you know, they learn this great um, base in elementary school, Melissa. So really awesome. Oh, we have four minutes left. Uh, do we want to show our art or wrap it up a little? I hate to leave. I know. Yeah. Let's take a minute to put all of our art in our, in our screens and just celebrate the evening. I love it. Oh, wow. wonderful. Yeah, go ahead. This is art. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah. So many artists. <laughs> Say hi to Eleanor. Hey, Maddie, I'm Beautiful. Hi, Eleanor. Hi, Eleanor. Hi, Eleanor. Hi, Eleanor. Hi, Eleanor. Hi, Eleanor. Hi, Bye, Jesse. Good job, man. 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 Bye, job, man. Good Bye, 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 Bye. Thank you all for joining us tonight. It was such a pleasure bye, to have Nana. you. Bye, Nana. Bye, Lainey. Bye, sweetie. Bye. Bye. bye, Jane. Bye, Faye. Love bye, you. Bye, Thank you. Very <laughs> well. Bye, sweetheart. There she is. Bye, Debbie. Bye, 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 bye. bye Grandma. Bye, Hi. I'm sad it's over. Bye, Gussie. Bye, <laughs> so bye, bye Rusty and Carol. <laughs> bye, Gussie. I love you. Good love you, lady. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank it's you. so wonderful to see all of you.